say exceptional range of tooling here, but what's new for the engineers at Max? Well, this is our CBDD product. It's uh, now say that again. CBDD, and it's uh, a brand new product for machining sintered carbide. Uh, previously, this is on something that you could grind, but now you're able to turn, drill, mill, and this little component here just shows some of the operations. Day one, Mac 2018, Darren, CNC Training Academy. You've got 30 seconds, what are you showcasing this week? Programmer training for Hyde 9, Siemens, and Fanuc. Easy to use? Very easy to use. Today we're launching Predator MDC, and MDC stands for Manufacturing Data Collection. So it's a machine monitoring and data collection system designed for manufacturers. And the idea is every second becomes billable and accountable, and we track and trace that for all the pieces of equipment on the shop floor. So essentially making engineers more efficient. Exactly. Well, yes, welcome to uh, Productivity Drive, the Mill CNC stand. We've got a real theme going on this year. So this is a main thoroughfare through the stand. We've also got higher quality street. We've also got precision close. We've got 16 machines on the stand. Uh, a lot of those are actually cutting, demonstrating. So we've tried to make it a bit more interesting this year. Uh, doing a general fact finding today. Uh, see how the industry has moved on. Uh, what new technologies are out there, particularly work holding, job finishing. So just gathering information before we uh, make final decisions on CapEx. Okay, so some pressure for the salesman here, get it right, and you'll be knocking on their door. So why are you here today? Yeah, just to look at all new machines. Anything you're excited about? Just to look at all like five axis machines, like obviously I'm a Miller, so. We are now showing our fiber laser cutting machine up to four kilowatts. We are, this is the machine uh, to cut sheet metal machineries. Yeah, we're here today with Jeremy and Wayne. Uh, what are you here today to see? Uh, generally having a look around, seeing everything. Yep. Yeah, just have a kind of breeze around, see what's about. Yeah, get an idea. Is there anything you want to look for? Anything you're particularly interested in? Uh, keen to find new suppliers and new manufacturers for all of our equipment, particularly MTD seem to have some stuff that we are interested in. They're the best. Adrian, you guys are regular with MTD, but what are you showcasing this time at Mac? Okay, so today we got uh, right in front of me, we have uh, what we call roll feed. So roll feed is our 90% uh, imp improvement in turning. Okay, so ha very simply, how does it work? Okay, very large uh, radius tools. Um, the tool rolls through the uh, cutting process through the surface, uh, enabling you to push much higher feed rates Steve, Kyocera SGS, known for high-end bespoke tooling. What are you showcasing at Mac? Uh, one of the things that we're showcasing in particular this year is our multi-purpose tools there where it solves engineering problems with four or five features in one hit. I'm here with Mike from Lead Precision. Mike, day one, what are you, what are you showcasing today? Okay, we're showcasing three new machines. We have an LTC20 DMY, yeah. which is a Y-axis lathe, uh, and it's available with Y-axis, sub-spindle, main spindle. Lee, every time I pop the Zola, the engineer's essential, the blue tack. but what are you showcasing this week at Mac? We've got our new uh, vending solutions, as you see here, from um, tool organizers for consumer balls through to uh, tool cabinets for the measured tools. So really a holistic solution for um, every workshop. What are you guys looking forward to seeing in the show? Uh, Okay, we're here for um, see the latest tech. We're some here to see some machines, meet up with some companies. Uh, we're here to see job opportunities, etc. Things like that. Yeah. Richard, we're at Sits and Miano stand. First of the week. What have you gone and done? Well, I have bought a Miano BNE 51 MSY. Why? Because it's uh, to keep up with the demand, um, particularly with uh, orders from the hydraulics industry. Done. We're at Mac first day. 2018, Matsura have got an absolutely fabulous stand. What's new? What's new that people can come on your stand and see? The, uh, the MX520 PC4, so the MX520 has been around some time, but we now got our own brand new four pallet system on that machine. And, and what's new about it? What, how will this benefit the customers? Obviously, you know, with the 35V that we're showing, which is 25 years old, and the MX330 that we launched just over a year ago, again, multi-tool, multi-pallet. Hi, Heather back here for MTD. I'm here with Benjamin, who's an apprentice for Nissan. Benjamin, what are you here today to do? Uh, I'm here just to look at many different companies, see all the different engineering sectors, see what more I can learn. Is there anything you're really interested in looking at? Uh, I've looked at the Haas engineering. I'm really into F1 and 
I thought there'd be a car that isn't, unfortunately. That way. Yeah. There's one over that way. Is there? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Steve, what message are Hella trying to get across this week? And also, what new technology have you got on display? Right, the message we're trying to get across is that we're doing Industry 4.0 and Hella's take on that, which is Hella for Industry. We have the usual machines on the stand. This year we've got a brand new machine tool, which is the HF3500, which is our brand new five axis machine. But the general message is, we are a forward thinking company. We've taken on new technologies and we've applied the new technologies to our machine tools. And this is our Hella for Industry. Hi, Heather back for MTD. I'm here with Mac. Mac, what are you here looking at today? Uh, just machines for work, really. Um, like uh, more abrasives, welding, um, that kind of stuff, really. Is there anything you're really looking forward to looking, seeing today? Uh, I was looking at press form there, kind of machines. I was quite looking at that. Um, and just looking at stuff that I've never really seen before. So I worked with laser cutting, but I've never seen any CNC uh, like milling machines and laser in use. So it was quite interesting. You're going to love today. Have a great day. Right, thank Thanks. You. Phil, the Hoffman Group, what a huge organisation. What's the theme um, that you've got here at the MAC Exhibition 2018? Well, as you can see, the theme is speed, the need for speed. You can see the German touring car, the DTM vehicle that we sponsor. Um, this is run, it's actually having a run out in Brands Hatch this year, which is great for the UK. Um, but the actual theme for us here is about the service, the complete service package that we offer to customers as a system partner. And that's the key difference between ourselves and a lot of other companies full gamut of products that we supply. Graham, I'm, I'm a master of this. I was there's no machines on the stand. Why is that? Yeah, well, we've made a conscious decision. We, we don't need machines to be on our stand, uh, Colin, this particular time. What, what we're looking for is that we're really looking for, we've got the best engineering team that we believe application driven in the UK. Uh, what we're looking for is obviously discussing various projects with customers during the MAC that are coming on to talk to us about serious large investments. Hiya, it's Amber here for MTD and we're at the MAC Show 2018. Um, is there anything in particular that you're here to see today? Any new products? Uh, yes, our company is uh, dealing with the furnaces, so I'm looking for new control systems for new PLC designs, uh, new sensor designs. Okay, perfect. And have you seen anything exciting so far? Uh, not yet, but I'm, uh, I feel I will find something nice. Yeah. Mike, we're at Crick Grind. What are you showcasing at Mac? The most important thing we're showcasing is this tool here. It's the conical barrel tool. It now is the largest range in available in the UK, uh, worldwide actually nowadays. And it's 1.8 to 2.5 millimeter radius diameter on the tip, and 250 to 1500 millimeters on the radius. So 95% cycle time reduction. Rav, we're here at Mac 2018 AMRC. What message are you trying to get across? The message we're trying to get across is that the fourth industrial revolution is here, but it doesn't have to cost a lot. We've got a 1956 lathe next to us that we have sensed up inexpensively for 200, 250 pounds, and we're beginning to get data off it. For many people, that's the start of their digital journey. Now, I see, I see you've just pulled up. How's things going? It's a fantastic day. We're uh, on day two of Mac 2018. The aisles are getting really, really full. There are a lot of people coming through. And the fantastic thing is how much technology and how much new technology there is on display here. It's really come on a level, even in the last two years. The amount of digital that's on people's stands, the amount of automation that's getting integrated into all sorts of different manufacturing processes, that's really come on in the last two years. It's a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to see the latest of what's there. I'm here with Valerio from Dalmec at MAC 2018. What's it that you're showcasing at the show this year? Uh, we handle uh, basically handling equipment. So anytime uh, somebody needs to lift uh, anything very heavy up to one ton, uh, we can actually use uh, those uh, handling equipment uh, to take away the weight of the product. So you can handle uh, kilt, uh, uh, anything up to one ton uh, by basically uh, with no effort whatsoever. We're here at Mac, what are you showcasing and what is unique about your products? Cardex is showcasing the fastest picker machine in the, in the world. 
It's an automated retrieval solution that enables people to pick solutions, really read their products really, really fast, get them out the door, get them to their customers it, within a very, very short uh, pace of time. And it's there, it's called the LR35. Is there anything you're particularly showcasing here? Yes, I mean, in actual fact, we come to the show regularly and uh, particularly showcasing sort of new products that we've actually got on display here um, from our sort of extensive catalogue that we have here for people to take away. Uh, all the products are available online as well. Morning. Uh, Colin, what are you displaying here at MAC 2018? We've got the new GW part-off system, uh, which is proven to be more than twice as good as anybody else's system currently. Also, the new VPX milling system that we've got, uh, Tangent Linser, uh, very low load on the uh, tool, so high feed. Um, we haven't got many engineering companies here at the show. Is there a particular reason why you've decided to showcase here? It's the first time we've visited Mac, but um, we, we've attended here before um, as visitors, and uh, we obviously have great football, great, great exhibition. So we decided to come and showcase our, uh, our abilities here. Obviously, we have precision uh, machinists, uh, certainly in, in specialists uh, in wire, wire EDM and uh, precision milling. Yeah, we're here again with the demonstrator. Um, we're showcasing the LBR EVA as usual. Um, we're here with the KR32, and we've got a new um, bit of software that we're showing people called Ready2. On this occasion, it's a Ready2 pilot, um, and it's whereby you can actually uh, use a industrial robot almost collaboratively, so guiding and moving the robot yourself. We're here today with AM Tooling and AM Hydraulics. We're la launching a new division, AM Tooling. The company's been established now for 40 years and we're, and we're expanding the business into supplying uh, design, simulation and manufacturer press tools for automotive, aerospace and marine applications. Carissa, Safran, obviously really well-known company, but why are you here at MAC? So we're here at the MAC 2018 exhibiting our Airbus A350 main landing gear. Um, we're responsible for the design, development, qualification, testing, manufacturer and support at the Gloucester site. Um, so the A350 main landing gear showcases our latest technology um, for low weight and high reliability. Adrian, this is a beast of a machine behind you here. What is it actually doing? Basically, it makes electronic components for the automotive industry, construction and whatever. What kind of components can it make? Well, you can make electronic components at 50 tonne and it does it dynamically balance of the machine as it runs. So for any industry, medical, construction. Tony, second day on the trot here. First of all, how's Di uh, Diagon Alley? Well, it's not Diagon Alley, it's actually Productivity Drive, but yeah, I can, yeah. Uh, yesterday was great, um, a good steady stream of traffic, really, expecting it to be busier today. Um, so, um, but I think good quality visitors as well to the stand. Does that include Steph McGovern? I heard she was looming around here earlier. Uh, well, we had to, uh, she was uh, on Productivity Drive, uh, but we moved her on. Uh, no, um, but no, good day, really, um, but good, it's the quality of visitors. Mark, Phoenix CNC, you've got two products now, just tell me quickly about them please. Uh, Mazacam we've been selling for two years now, we're doing a special offer at the show for during the show. Um, we're going to sell it for 2999 that will give you the ability to program offline, convert between all your Mazatrol controls, both milling, turning and mill turn machines. Right. Alan, Cambridge Numerical Control, what are you showcasing here at Mac? Yep. We're uh, showcasing our MDC software, which is machine tool monitoring. So it'll tell you when the machine is running, when it's in cycle, out of cycle. Also gives you reason codes as to why the machine is not running. Um, so you can actually be, it helps you be more efficient, basically. Magnus, Nederman Filtration Systems. Can you tell me a little bit about your products, please? Yeah, what we do is that we clean the air from machine tools. Uh, that is uh, created, um, the machine tools create uh, oil mist and uh, emulsion mist and uh, we clean it in filters so it's a clean and safe uh, environment for the workers. Hiya, 
Amber here for MTD at Mac 2018. Um, not many women in engineering, but I've managed to track one down here on the Jaguar Land Rover stand. Um, what was it that first attracted you to get into the world of engineering? Well, it was kind of a gamble, really. I just applied on like a, I want to see what engineering's like kind of thing. So I did a scheme called Young Women in the Know, and it gave us an insight into what ja Jaguar Land Rover engineering was like. And it kind of took me by fancy, passed some tests, and then applied for the apprenticeship and ended up getting it. I actually really, really enjoy it now. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte, you're with Siemens, but you can tell me about STEM. I am. It's science, technology, engineering and maths, and we're trying to excite three to 17 year olds to join the field. Okay. Fantastic. Getting engineers, well, guys into engineering is what we need at the moment. So how are you doing that? So we've got uh, robot controlled buggies. So we've got little controllers here so the kids can come and try them out um, or they can code them themselves on our laptops and drive them around on our track. You have brought the latest technology to Mac 2018. Tell everyone about the Bloodhound. Bloodhound, we are at the, at the top end of engineering. We have literally had to reinvent the wheel in order to drive this car. Our wheels will be spinning around about 180 times every second. The data that we're going to collect off this car every time it runs is going to be about twice as much as a Formula One car and we're going to be streaming that out live to schools and colleges all across the world. Now I'm here with James. James, what are you showcasing here at the show? Um, so we are uh, Metrology UK and we are introducing um, the Universal CMM. That is the platform for allowing um, any measurement digital device to go through a single platform that is CMMs, me uh, measurement arms, laser trackers, uh, laser scanning technology and we're able to integrate it into SBC systems, cloud-based to introduce the industry 4.0 to the manufacturing markets. I hope you can see me back there because the machine is huge so we had to try and get that in camera. Alessio, tell me quickly about it. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, so we are here to, to show you the, our uh, machine, the water jet cutting system. This technology now is growing up in the market because uh, with one tool you can cut uh, any kind of material like uh, metal, brass, uh, I don't know, stone, what you want. Glass, uh, metal, wood? Yes, absolutely. In canals? Yes, also. Pneumonic? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, you can do. if you want, yes, if you want, you can do it. Hi, Amber here from MTD at Mac 2018. I'm here with Kelvin from LNS. So, what are you showcasing here at the show this year? We're showcasing for the first time our new uh, conveyor, the SF50. It's a conversion from the drum filtration conveyors, which the market has asked for. So, we've been to R&D, developed making a smaller footprint, but giving the customer what they want from their expectations. Nice and neat. Stuart, new machine at the show, tell me about it quickly. Uh, first time showing in the UK, it's an Axile machine um, from Buffalo Machine Tool Company, full five axis machine, uh, very large, accurate, rigid machine tool, 1.3 tonnes available to put on the, on the table there. Jamie, I've not seen this before, robot arm measuring, what's going on? Okay, so this is our fully automated uh, measuring cell. Uh, we're machining the components inside the robo drill. Uh, the robot arm's gonna put them onto our measuring device and we're sending live offsets back to the machine tool to correct any process errors. First of all, looks like Swarfer chips have been here. Now, Freddy products, we're at the Mac stand. Now, rather than have a great big suite of products on the stand, guess what they've gone and done? They've gone state of the art, the downside is we can't get Amber off it, their VR system, which has got the whole product range on the screen. Adrian, Anchor Stand, what's this machine behind you? Uh, this is the MX7 with RFID chip reading. What does that mean? Uh, it means that you can identify individual tools and scan it, and the machine will then just take it from there and grind everything, basically, that you load up to it. They've just let me loose on a coding, and I think Gio's got a new friend. Although he's a bit sportier. <laughs> Dave Herco, what's new for the show? 
This is a brand new machine. We're launching the BX range, three models, bridge design, high speed, higher accuracy than we used to, really good Y-axis travel. Gareth, what's going on here? Colin, this is the first time that we've shown the Robotrex at the uh, Mac show. And this is a very, very simple pallet loading system for Lang Vices. Paul, previous range of machines, Tornado, what's this one? This is the next generation for Colchester and this is the Typhoon range of machines now. This particular machine we've got here is a twin spindle single turret machine which allows one hit machining so you've got the Y axis and live tooling as well. Stuart, I'm going to say the obvious, everyone thinks of you guys, Renishaw's CMM Metrology. Correct. What are you showcasing here? Uh, we're just showcasing our additive manufacturing division. Uh, we've been in additive manufacturing since 2011 now. Um, what we're showcasing on the app here is actually what you can actually do on a machine with a single laser in 19 hours, a double laser in 19 hours, but on our new machine with quad laser, in 19 hours you can build the whole part. Hi, Heather back for MTD. I'm here with Mike from XYZ. Now, Mike, when I think of XYZ, I think of milling and turning. What's this machine here doing? Well, we've seen recently a, a big demand from our customers to get machines to be more productive and people can't get staff to operate in 10 machines. So we've come up with a solution with Adelphi Systems based in Manchester to put a unit that's mobile, can be moved between milling machines and turning machines so that they can load and unload the machines automatically. Mike Goering, straight away, I think rotary cutting, that's right, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, rotary cutting tools in all materials, high speed steel, carbide, and uh, PCD diamond uh, tools as well. So it's a nice, in interesting material removal. But, and I sense there's a big buck coming here. Correct. It's a big buck because we've gone into a new range, a new program of tooling, grooving tools. Uh, it's a new catalogue, new standard range, and it's hitting the market here at Mac. Hi, it's Heather here back for MTD. I'm here with Scott at CG Tech. Scott, what are you showcasing today? We are showcasing our new module, which is called Vericut Force. Um, Vericut Force is a, a, about feed rate optimization, um, and it's mainly promoting to the existing customer channel, but also we're promoting it to, um, for new business as well. Had a busy show? Extremely busy. Great, thanks for talking. No problem. And as we can see here, the young females encircle their prey with biscuits and the chance of an interview.